Hey, welcome back to more of refinishing. Today we are going to strip and refinish the top of this Rosewood Partners desk. I hope you enjoy. I decided to strip this with acetone since it was only a little bit of oil left on top. No reason to waste good chemical stripper on this piece. So this top had some scratches on it. So here we are getting our iron, our water, and our white rag. And we're gonna steam out these scratches to get them to raise up to make it easier to sand. All right, here we go, it's time to get sanding. I'm using 150 grit sandpaper on this to start and I'm going to work my way up to 220. I wish sanding was always this fast and easy. Once the sanding is done with the machine, I always go back by hand to get rid of any swirl marks that the sanding machine may have left. You always want to hit this with the grain. You never want to go cross grain when sanding. Now I'm working it by hand with 220 grit, getting in all the corners to get all the old bleach that was in this rosewood removed. Whenever you're working with rosewood, you really want to wipe down with acetone right before putting it into the spray booth. The oils inside of the rosewood can cause adhesion issues later down the line for you. After wiping down with acetone, I found a few more spots of bleach in the corners and I needed to hand sand those back out so they don't show up in the finished product. Now that the desk is ready to go in the spray booth, we gotta get these drawers ready and cleaned up. Many years of abuse and neglect, these have pen and pencil marks all over the interior, ink stains. We don't let that go in my shop. There are six drawers, so this may take a while. A lot of refinishers will add a drawer liner inside. I like to keep the natural wood keeping the original beauty that was expected from the designer back in the 50s. I feel these little details set us apart from the rest. Thank you. 
Okay, here we are in the spray booth. Let's wipe down this table one more time with acetone to make sure we don't have any adhesion issues with the spraying process. Alright, here we go. First coats of sealer on the top of this rosewood desk. I prefer using all Mohawk Finishers Choice products for all of my refinishing in the shop. I'll usually spray around six to seven coats of the sealer around the entire piece. Now let's get to the drawers. Once everything dries, we'll go through and sand it with a 320 grit sandpaper and get it nice and smooth for the next steps. Now this is where the magic happens. I'll take my touch-up kit and blend in all of the epoxy filler that we used in the sanding process. Now this is where the artistic skills come in. I have to make the perfect color to match this rosewood top and then I need to go back and make the perfect grain color to blend it all in and make it invisible to the naked eye. Once I get it looking good, I'll touch it up with a little Mohawk toner can to seal it all in and give me a good visual on if the touch up is perfect. You have to be patient with this part of the job. Perfection is key here. Now I'll throw it back in the booth for a second coat of sealer to tie it all in and get it ready for finals. Are you ready to see what all this hard work was for? Like and subscribe if you want to follow me for more content like this. Leave a comment below to tell me what other pieces of furniture you want to see us refinish. Thanks for watching.